This year is a great year for the Hong Kong International Film Festival. I saw a total of six films and loved almost all of them. From the phenomenal After Sun to the pleasant little surprise here, even for the ones I didn't like as much, I still found something that I enjoyed about them. Out of the six, one of them is a documentary and it is Aurora Sunrise, a documentary that I absolutely loved, as the credits rolled. The whole theater started clapping. Not a single person left their seat, which is rare I tell you, as Hong Kong people are always up on the move. Silence filled the air. Other than a few sobs, this is one of the best documentaries I've seen in a long time. It is a mesmerizing, haunting, shocking cinematic experience. Welcome back to Film We Go. Today I would love to share and talk about Aurora Sunrise, a documentary done in an animated form. Combined with silent films and interviews, this is a remarkable story about Aurora Mardaganian, a survivor of the Armenian Genocide in 1915. After watching a family being slaughtered, being kidnapped, and surviving the worst of human atrocities, she managed to escape to America, where she caught the attention of Hollywood. And of course, just like Hollywood, they decide to turn into a store and turn in millions of dollars turning into a global sensation. Although the production was able to reach a global audience and help shine the spotlight on the horrific situation, Aurora was treated terribly, like another puppet to help Hollywood to earn big bucks. Having to travel around to promote her film, she suffered from PTSD while having to watch her own real life story unfold over and over again. Aurora Sunrise combines the silent film which Aurora herself starred in, Auction of Souls. However, only 18 minutes, if I recall correctly, of the film was recovered. So to fill the remaining pieces of Auction of Soul, the documentary combines stunning animation and interviews from Aurora herself to give us a full complete story. I'm so glad this documentary not only helps shine more light on this atrocity, but also gives the justice Aurora deserved, instead of being remembered mainly as a Hollywood star, but as a survivor who had to witness the worst of humanity. This documentary perfectly shows every angle, and how Hollywood manipulated her and used her so that they could get a bigger check. But not only that, I think this is probably one of the more compelling documentaries made on this topic. I cried, I was shocked, and I was touched. The documentary is directed by Ina Sahakian, and it is the first animated documentary, which is very impressive as the animation for this doc is top notch. Its beautiful use of color perfectly captures Aminia with its light red, yellow, and beige, which looked like something out of a painting. Only later was I to find out that it was done with paper cutout mixed with a little bit of CG, making it that much more impressive. I also love how the animated background looks solid and grounded, while the way the characters movement are not as restrained and more fragile. I'm not sure if you get what I mean, but it helps give off a feeling of how vulnerable Aurora is, while being contrasted with a solid background, showing us the harsh world she lives in. Aurora Sunrise also does a great job of transitioning between interview, silent film, and animation. It flows so smoothly that it doesn't feel jarring in any way, and doesn't feel out of place, like some documentaries do when they mix different mediums. But what I loved most about this documentary was how cinematic it was, combined with a score that was just so perfect. Each score perfectly reflects the mood that Aurora is in, from being captured by bandits and escaping, to Aurora first time visiting a bustling city of New York. The score is just so good, as it captured each event perfectly. If you close your eyes and remove the voiceover, I think you can kind of guess what is happening in the scene. The way the animation plays out is also just as good. It's like you're watching a film. There were transitions that I've never seen done in animation before. There's a scene where a cup of coffee is passed from one person to another until it reaches a reporter. The coffee stays in the center while it's passed around. It's so simple, yet I was extremely captivated by it. Watching Aurora Sunrise honestly doesn't feel like you're watching a documentary, but an actual film. But most of all, I'm just glad that the documentary finally helped give Aurora the justice she deserved, as she did so much for her country only to be treated like crap by Hollywood and later forgotten for many years until this documentary came along. I think that the director, Ina Sahakian, successfully painted a bigger picture for its audience and not just showed us the horror she had to witness, but the person she was and what she had to go through to shine more light on her situation back home. I'm glad she can finally be known as the person she was and not just some movie star. If you're able to find a screening of this, please do give this documentary a watch as this is such an enthralling, heartbreaking documentary that will glue you to the screen from the very first frame. And that's it! I've covered all 6 films I've seen at the festival. Check out my review for After Sun and Godland, two other terrific films that I've seen from the festival that are most definitely worth checking out. If you're new to my channel, subscribe for your next travel ticket so I can bring you around the globe with me. Later!